Hi everyone. I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd do a new one uh, and just share a little bit with you about some of the decisions I make when I do a painting. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this piece. I did a Viana Presley this past week. Uh, there were a lot of considerations to be made painting the painting of somebody who doesn't have hair that I think it was really important that I convey a lot of the beauty and strength and vulnerability that she has in this painting. So I really wanted to get it right. And I looked at a lot of videos of her, uh, photos of her with hair because that's what is mostly around. I looked at the video she did on the root and then I actually also researched a lot of photos of um, black women without hair so that uh, I could kind of get a, a sense of what was going on to make it really vibrant and beautiful as she is. And so I thought I'd share a little bit about this painting. So um, you can see that there's a lot of colors going on here that are not really what you call flesh tone, right? So one of the things, for example, is the blue, oops, other side, this blue here um, with, you can see that there's a, an edge of orange behind it. Um, that edge of orange is the complementary color to um, the blue, so it kind of creates a little pop. If you are familiar, there's a, a book called Midnight, uh, and it, there's it, the longer title of it is actually Black Skin in Moonlight Looks Blue, or no, the movie's title is Moonlight, I'm sorry. Um, and there is, you, you can, light can be both cool and warm, so I was going for that cool light uh, with that reverse, that highlight that was that blue, um, because I knew that it would cause a, a, a really nice warmth with the warm colors on either side of it, which you can see right there, see? So that was um, one of the decisions I made there. Uh, another thing that I did on this painting, which uh, someone was asking about, was why did I um, show, not, not have her wearing that top she was wearing with the yellow bow here when I painted her? Uh, and one of the reasons I wanted to remove the yellow bow from around her neck is because for me, when I think about not having hair, I think, you know, how your neck is always exposed, um, which I think men probably never even consider. But as a woman, I just, you know, I know that when I wear my hair up, it's very different. There's a certain vulnerability about having the neck exposed. And because she was so vulnerable and strong by sharing her reality with us, I kind of hoped that by having the neck exposed like that in the painting, it would convey a little bit of that vulnerability, which also shows strength. Um, so that's some of that. Um, she always wears a really amazing lipstick, so I wanted to do that. And she's got this sort of fun half smile that she does when she, um, in a lot of her pictures, I hope I got that right. I also chose, made the decision to have her wearing pearls because if you saw, remember back last year when she was sworn in, she was wearing this great big rope of pearls. And so that was sort of something I associate with her. Um, and if you look, let me see, get up here close, you can see there's more of that kind of coloring in here. Um, and, and I'm looking to see if there's anything else of interest that you might see. The same thing goes on over there. Um, and I, uh, so there's a nice kind of close up of the painting. This is sort of new for me too, so I hope it's showing a little bit of the decision making process. But anyways, that was just wanted to take you through some of the things I think about when I paint these sort of paintings. And I hope it was interesting for you. And have a great weekend. Bye.